Hello everyone, welcome back to this video we're going to talk about how to fix Starship Troopers extermination is having crashing issue, it is not launching, freezing and stuttering, low FPS drop, black screen and even many more issues which is happening for many of the users right now and how you can fix this app. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about you have to start with a simple restart. Sometimes a simple restart can fix a lot of issue. We can start with this one. So go over here in the start, click over here and go to this icon, then go for a restart. Once restart is done, try launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not. If it's still, still having the issue, then let's move to the next workaround. Next one is nothing but we can try with verify integrity of game file. Actually, actually, this is an important step. Verify integrity of game file is actually an important step because this will definitely fix the issue. So go over here in the game, right click and go to properties. Now from here, go to installed files. Just click on the verify integrity of game file. So what happens is this is going to take a little bit of time. So this will cross check every single files of your game. It will be cross checking every single files of the game. If any files are corrupted, if any files are missing, all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step. So once you click on the verify integrity of game file, you just need to wait this to reach 100% percentage. then only you will be able to get the play button once again. So you have to wait this to reach 100% percentage. Once it reach 100% percentage and will be getting a message if all files are successfully validated. So you can go over here and click on the play button and try launch the game. If this is not working, we have to move to the next step. Next one is nothing but we can launch the game from the installation folder. So most probably we'll be launching the game from here, from the Steam. So that might be an issue. So we need to launch the game from the installation folder. So just go over here in the game, right click from here and go to the properties. Now from here, go to installed files and just click on the browse. This is actually a shortcut. Now once you click on this one, go back and over here you can see if you check at the top, you are very easily redirected to the installation folder. That is this PC, local disk C, program for LX86, Steam, Steam apps common, Starship Troopers extermination. Now from here as you can see, we need to launch the game. That's what you have to do. So uh, it is very important that you need to launch the game. So you just go back. So once you reach over here, we need to launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not. So you have to launch the game from here instead of depending on the installation, I mean on the Steam. Launch the game from here and see whether the issue is solved or not. If it's still not working, then we need to move to the next step. Next step is nothing but we need to launch the game and we have to launch the game and it run it as an administrator. For launch the game, we need to go to the installation folder. We are already in the installation folder. So I'm going to show you next two steps which can be done from here. So you have to select the application over here, right click and we have to go to the show more option, go to properties go to compatibility. Now from here, if you find this, click on run this program as an administrator. <coughs> Sorry, click on run this program as an administrator, go for apply and go for OK and try launch the game. Most probably when you're running the game in the, <coughs> sorry, when you're launching the game in the administrator, the issue has to be fixed. If it's not working, we have one more step. This did work out for many users, so you can try this out. It's nothing but we are running the game in the compatibility mode. So just go over here in the show more option, properties, compatibility. Now from here, we just need to go for run this program in compatibility mode. If Windows 7 is there, set this to Windows 7 and go for apply and go for OK. If you're on Windows 8, go for Windows 8, go for apply and go for OK. So once after running this in the compatibility mode, try launch the game. This did work out for many users, so you can try this out as well. Even after trying, if it's still not working, then we just need to move to the next step. Next step is nothing but make sure the Windows language on your PC is English. If it's not PC, you have to set the language to English because some users use native languages. For so just go over here in the search, go to settings, go to time and language. Now from here, go to language and region. Now over here, as you can see, the language is in English United States. So if you're on any other language, just click on add language and search for the respective language and set the language to English United States or you can set the language to English. Make sure you're from the respective geography. So if you're from a country like, for example, from Russia and if you're setting the location United States, that's not going to work. So make sure you have to set the language. I mean, you have to set the region correct. 
Now go back over here and make sure a habit of cross-checking date and time, time zone should be correct. So here you have to set this up, you have to set this up as well. Set all these things correct and also you have to make sure you have synced successfully. And once after this, just go back and see whether the issue is solved or not. Even after trying, if it's still not working, we have to move to the next step. Next step is launch the game and you have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. So just click on the play button and you have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. That's going to work for you as well. Just click on the play button and the moment you're clicking on the play button, you have to press Alt and Tab together from the keyboard without any file. So that's going to help you guys out. For, in my knowledge, for many users, those who are having these kind of issues, this particular step did help with them so you can try this out. Next one is all about we need to delete the saved game file. For this, go over here in the file explorer. Go to this PC over here. Now from here, if you check at the over here in the documents, you will be able to find the folder of the game. So if you find the folder of the game, just delete the folder on Starship. And keep in mind, you will be losing all the progressions of the game. But that is fine. You have to start from the scratch once again. Try and that's going to help you guys out. So for many users, this did help it. So you can try this out. Next one is all about nothing but you can allow the game to window security. For this reason, we have to go over here in the search. Now from here, go to control panel. Now just click on system and security. Now from here, we have to go to Windows Defender Firewall. Now click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, keep scrolling down and navigate to S. So we will be able to find Starship. So just keep scrolling down. As you can see, Starship Troopers Extermination is added. Make sure this is, you can make sure the both things has to be uh, public. I mean, uh, in the sense, this has to be private and public. You have to check this. That means you have to check both the things. If it's one unchecked, you have to check it and you can go for next one. And also keep in mind, if it's not there, you can add it the game by default. So I'm going to show you that also. For some cases, the game won't be here. So for that, just click on change settings. Now go to allow another app. Go for browse. Now this PC. This is where the game installed. So go over here in the local disk C, go to program file x86, keep scrolling down and navigate to Steam folder, go to Steam apps, and now from here go to common, now from here go to Starship Troopers Extermination, select this one and go for open and you can add it. So you'll be getting the error because it's already added. That is why you're getting the error. So you need to go over here and add the game. Once you add it successfully, just close this and go back and try launch the game. Next one is nothing but we need to unplug all the USB devices. So you might be connected with many things over here. Maybe uh, your USB ports might be connected with joystick controllers, multiple monitors and any other thing. So these even can cause the issue. So it is quite important that you have to remove everything when you're having crashing issue or any of the issues which I mentioned in the first. Remove everything, launch the game. After game is successfully launched, just connect back the controller if you wanted to play with the controller or it'll just proceed with OT Hub and that's gonna help you guys as well. Next one is all about we need to perform a clean boot for this over here. We have to go over here in the search, go for system configuration, go to services. Now from here you can see you have to go for hide all Microsoft services, go for disable all, apply and OK. Once after done with this, try launch the game and most probably this did work it. So this particular step that is performing a clean boot did work it for the games like Dead Space, uh, even for uh, GTA, even for you know Rest and all these things it work it so you can try this out. Next one is all about we need to go for disable Steam overlay. For this just go over here right click and go to properties. Now from here if you can see it's disable. So if it is enabled you have to disable it. Once you disable try launch the game and see whether the issue is solved. Or we can parallel try one more step. Give try with these commands in the launch option. The first command is dx11. Try with dx11. So you can try with dx11. Try with dx11 and launch the game if that is not working. Change this to DX12 and try launch the game as well. So either you can try with DX11 or you can go with DX12 and try launch the game. If that is not working, we have to move to the next step. Next step is nothing but we have to go for close all the overlay application. For that, we just need to go over here in the game. I mean, in the start, right click over here and go to task manager. Now from here, as you can see, there are few things only running in the background. Just all things are not running. So this is what you have to do. The users who are watching this, they will be having tons of things running in the background which is causing the crashing issue. So go over here if you adopt Premium Pro these kind of things, 
For example, one of the main reason why we are having crashing issue is one of the main reason is Discord and other overlay applications such as you know MSA Afterburner, Riva Tuner, and all these things. So if you find any one of these things running in the background, and not only this unwanted things running in the background, you have to remove it. That's going to help you guys out for sure. So removing the unwanted things from the task manager is an important step for to fix crashing and all these kind of issue. So try with this. Next one is all about run the game on dedicated graphics card. For this, we just need to go over here in the search. Now, if you go to the graphics setting, just search for it. And now, as you can see, I've already added the game. Same way we need to add the game. So just click on the browse. Now, from here, we need to go to this PC, go to local to C, go to program file x86, keep scrolling down, navigate to Steam, go for Steam apps, go to common. Now, from here, you will be find Starship Troop Examination, select this one and go for add. So once it's added, it is quite important. We have to make one more change. Click on the option, set this to high performance and go for save. Once you save this, close this and go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about we need to do is we just need to increase the virtual memory. For that reason, we have to go over here in the search, go to over here and search for view advanced system settings. Go to advanced, go for settings, go to advanced once again, go for change. Now from here, as you can see, you have to make sure this is blank and select the local disk over here where the game is installed. In my case, it is local to C. Go for custom size, set the value for initial size 1.5 times the total RAM. Maximum size is 3 times the total RAM. So 1.5 times, so just go over here in the over here and go to the calculator. So the RAM of my computer is 32 GB. So just type here RAM and multiply this with a constant value that is 1024. Multiply this with 1.5. That brings you 49,152. So just paste it. Next one is all about, we have to do the calculation once again. 32 GB into 1024 and you have to multiply it with 3. That brings you 98,304. Copy this, paste it as well. Once you're done with this, restart is a mandatory and try launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not. Next one is all about nothing but we have to try with updating the windows. So go over here in the search, go for settings and uh, go for windows update and check for windows update. So if any kind of updates are required like this, just update the windows and try launch the game. Next one is all about you have to try with parallel few more things like you have to update the graphics card manually. That is an important step to fix crashing and all these things. So I'll be providing a link in the description to these to NVIDIA as well as for the AMD. So the NVIDIA users, they have to go over here. You take you, That will be taken to this page and select Geoforce product series, product, operating system, language, etc. And that will take you in this go for start search and now from here if you're on the this particular one that is if you're having the version 536.40 is the driver version you have to download this install and restart and that's what you have to do same way you if you're on the amd just go over here select the graphics every details has to be selected go for submit now you'll be getting the option if you're on windows 11 download this one if you're on windows 10 download this one and install restart the pc if you are, you can also try with one more step, which I found from the community that for use, few users, when they install Microsoft Visual C++, it did work it for them. So just download this one and install. So you have to make sure if you're on x86 version or if you're on x64, most probably this is what happening for many of the PCs. So just download this one, install and restart. Afterwards, see whether the issue is solved. If it's still there, then you can try with this one. That is nothing but you can what you can do is you can uninstall the game and reinstalling it back. For this, you just need to go over here, go to manage, uninstall the game. For reinstalling back, you need to keep in mind, you should not be installing back on the same local disk. So you have to change the position of local disk. So I'm having only one, so that's fine. But those users who are watching, if you're uninstalling from C, try installing back on any other disk. And this is what you have to do. So these are the possible workarounds you have to try out when you're having an issue in Starship Troopers. And we hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more of these kind of videos. See you soon in the next video. Bye.